Jen, how do you create those Insta story graphics you've been making? Well, let me show you, my friend. Hola, Jen here. Welcome to my channel where we talk all about Christian entrepreneurship, learning to lead like Jesus, create amazing content that spreads your message to impact the world. And today we're talking about how to make it look good with Insta Story graphics. These are super simple to make. As you all know, I love me some Canva. I have an entire playlist around Canva that you could check out. But we're going to dive into Canva today. I'm going to flip my screen around and show you exactly how to make Insta Stories in seconds. So if you're ready to rock some Insta story graphics, hit the like button, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you on the other side of my screen. Okay, so here we are over on Canva, my favorite place to be to create tools, resources, graphics. So today I just want to show you an example of what we're going to be creating. These are graphics you can create that are customized and optimized for stories, whether you're using Instagram stories or Facebook stories, they work. So I'm going to show you how you can simply create these in seconds and just give you some ideas on what types of graphics you can actually create to create more engagement, to create calls to action. And if you're wanting to use it inside of your promotional efforts or just to have some fun and spice up the look and feel of your stories these are super super simple so so here I actually created some graphics with my bestie Sherry Brown because we were doing a list builders workshop so we wanted to promote that through our stories and literally I just took maybe 15 20 minutes and just spit these out pretty quick uh, because they are all templated and I'm going to show you that here in a second and so what one thing you want to think about when you're creating your stories is how you're animating so as you can see I have one image here that says join the list builders workshop and then I added this piece because I wanted to create it as an animated feature inside of Instagram stories so when people were actually clicking through this would just pop up as an additional piece and take people through the story further and further and then we would have just different ones we would promote throughout the week and uh, giving calls to action also creating different quotes with you know the the place that people could actually uh, subscribe or sign up register, whatever you have going on. Also a great way to use it is testimonials. So we wanted to share some testimonials of past students who had success inside of our List Builders workshop. Uh, by the way, if you're curious on list building, I'll put the link below so you can actually register if you want to go to our next event. And so uh, it's really cool that you can add testimonials, you can add any type of quotes or something that would trigger someone to want to actually check out what it is that you're doing. So I did a graphic here, someone is waiting for you to show up in their inbox and uh, uh, just pointed people back to the actual registration page. Uh, again, another quote here with that call to action. So you can embed these and incorporate them in between your lifestyle stories, in between you, uh, you know, doing your talking head stories and uh, just showing, you know, other aspects of behind the scenes in your business. So they're just really cool to have as an additional feature. And I really do think that they make a big difference and stand out. So if you just take literally maybe 15, 20 minutes, you could pop all of these out at one time. You can throw in quotes. We had some fun with it, you know, just kind of showing people what people typically do uh, when they're building a business online and what they really should be doing is emailing their list. So uh, just creating that vibe, having some fun with it. And then again, having that call to action. And another great thing is when you are in promotion mode, you could be uh, doing Facebook Lives. So you could let people, you know, have graphics available to point people to those lives because you know you're going to be doing them. This is a big key in planning ahead. So I just kind of want to take you through the thought process. And really the key to creating stories like this is just planning ahead, knowing what you're going to be promoting, knowing what you want to point people to will make it a lot easier for you to be able to sit down and create these and spit them out pretty quickly. So with that being said, let's head over to the actual home page of Canva. If you have not seen the entire playlist on my channel around Canva, you can check that out because I do give tutorials on how Canva works and dive deeper into that. But today we're just going to go over this specific template here called Your Story because this is the template you want to use when you're creating your stories. So if you want, you can always upgrade your Canva account. Uh, I do have a paid Canva account. I think it's 12 bucks a month or something like that. It's totally worth it. It gives you more templates, more features. But if you don't upgrade, it's totally fine. You can still use this strategy. You can still create these graphics. You may just be a little limited on the templates, but 
all good. You can actually customize and create your own from scratch as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Your Story template. It's going to pop up a blank canvas for us. And what I'm going to do to make this really easy, you always want to head over to the template section because they have done for you templates over here. So you can literally click on one and it pops up for you. And if you wanted to customize it, you can change the colors uh, to be your primary brand colors and make it more customized to, oh my gosh, each one of these can be actually customized a different color. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, which is awesome. So you could do something like that. You can actually change your font to be your actual customized font if you haven't already created your own font, you can actually do that uh, on different websites. They have websites like defont.com, creativemarket.com. I'll link those below so you can check those out. Uh, and this is actually a font that I purchased that I use. And then what's really cool is if you wanted to change that text, you would just write new text in here. You can actually highlight all of that and just put your own text here, for example. And then if you wanted to uh, customize the different pictures that are here, you could actually just swoop in and upload whatever pictures that you want to use. And then for example, I can drag me and Sherry over here, ta-da, and it would just drag it right over. So it makes it really, really simple for you to be able to create these pretty quickly. And then you can delete whatever features you don't want. If you want, you just hit delete. If you change your mind and you didn't want to delete it, just hit undo up in the top left hand side here and it will bring it back for you. So once you have that done, and let's say this is our complete image, I would just hit add a new page and I would go back to the templates and create a different template. So I would come over here, maybe I want to create a quote, I would click on this. Again, I can delete the background and put in a different picture. So let's say I wanted to add this picture of me here I'll just drag that over and then I could actually you know move this down if I wanted to put let's say we want to delete that move this down and change the quote so this is how you can quickly just start creating different stories for your Instagram account so again we'll click on here we'll go ahead and let's say we wanted to let's see if we could change any coloring we can't change color on these per se, but these are actually close to my brand colors, so it kind of works out. So certain ones you may or may not be able to change, but you could actually put a different graphic in here if you want, and then again, just change out the text. So you're really just rinsing and repeating and creating you know, different styles. So again, just using quotes, driving people back to your content that you've created, whether it's a blog post or a video or a masterclass that you wanna be promoting, you can really have a lot of fun with this. And one little hack that really helps too is just paying attention to what other people are putting in their stories that grabs your attention and making a note of that because then you can, as you're sitting down creating, your Instagram stories, you can go to that list and be like, oh yeah, I liked how so-and-so did this. And you can, you know, use that as inspiration to create your own specific story. So now I'm going to take this a couple of steps further. So once you are done with your images that you want to create for your stories, you can literally just come over here. You're going to hit download. You want to make sure that they're actually as PNGs that you're downloading. So once we hit download, it's going to download as a zip file because you created bulk images. And what we get to do is we just get to unzip those from our desktop. So once they're done downloading, you'll see the zip file. And as you double click on it, it will pull up the actual folder right next to it. So I can click on the folder and here are all the images. Now, if you're someone who likes to batch and schedule out your posts, one thing that I use as an amazing tool for Instagram is Planoly. And what's cool about Planoly is that you actually can upload all your images and you can actually upload your stories to Planoly, so you have them already locked, loaded, ready to go. That way if you're out and about, you don't have to sit there and be thinking, oh my gosh, what do I wanna post? What's happening next? And it's just all there organized for you. So once you're done with those images, you can actually drag and drop them into Planoly. So what we'll do is go ahead and just start dragging and dropping them in just like so. So that way they're all loaded inside of your stories and you don't have to think, oh my gosh, I'm out and about and I don't have my, I don't have my computer with me. I don't, I'm not able to access my files. They're all here in one place 
organized. So for more tutorials on Canva and how to make amazing graphic images, logos, and more, you can definitely check out the playlist on my channel, All Around Canva Tutorials. Happy to support you there. And I'll also throw up one of the Canva tutorial videos right here so you can actually just click on it right now. Until next time, my friend, keep the faith and impact the world. God bless. See you soon.